I'm sure you guys have all heard of the new Bowsette song. Well, this song inspired me to cosplay Bowsette. I decided why not make an entire Bowsette shell. 10 to 12 hours of hard dedication, and I vlogged the entire thing. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Swaggy. If you guys hear a little noise in the background, that is my cat. He's a bit chaotic right now. He just woke up from a nap. <laughs> Today, guys, we are making my first ever cosplay prop. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're doing my Bowser shell for Bowsette because I looked on Etsy and those things are freaking $500. I went on Etsy and I was like, okay, they can't be that much, right? Wrong. I found one for $18 and I was like, wow, whatever on earth can make this only $18? It was these. What are these, you may ask? I don't know. I, I, I actually don't know. I don't know what we're doing today. We're gonna be trying to make a Bowser shell out of foam and cement, I think, and an airbrush that I bought, and I don't know how to use any of it, so you're gonna come along for the ride. These are like little things that I'm supposed to put on top of the foam, and actually, I have foam right here. Oh, that has my address on it. Let me not dox myself. This is the foam. Well, inside here is the foam, you silly goose. For the first time in forever. <sighs> Oh my god, it's burning. This is foam. We have this whole heating gun that I have never, ever, ever seen nor used in my life. But there's instructions, which I am probably not going to read. We got a box cutter. Safety first, kids. Ugh. I don't know what barge is, but apparently it's all-purpose cement. Sorry, don't mind me. Uh, it's tight. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh, we have the airbrush. I think I know how to use an airbrush. I mean, it can't be that hard, right? This is gonna take me ages. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got a note. No, I don't care. These are the colors we have to work with, but I figured out that I did not print off all of the paper and look at how freaking fat this stack of paper is. It is like as thick as my nostril hole. I also watched this one guy and he explained how the fart to use this. Given I still don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna cut out the stuff for the cones and then we're gonna move on and we're gonna figure out how to make the, the spikes of the Bowser shell because that is what the guy recommended to start with. So I'm gonna cut this out and I will be right back. Six and a half hours later. We've got this piece, which I don't exactly know what this piece is like used for. But you cut this onto foam and then you wrap it up like that and then it makes a spike. You see that? <gasps> Wait, I think that's how it goes and then this base must have to like wrap around like that oh i get it i get it okay i'm just gonna record this whole process because i don't freaking know what i'm doing <laughs> this table's kind of small but it's fine there's like little marks on the piece of paper if you guys can see that but i'm assuming they're used for lining it up i don't exactly know how well it's gonna go but here we go i guess this needs to be the best cosplay prop I've ever made. Well, it's the only one I've ever made. But you know, I'm gonna be making more, so shut the fart up. Are you guys enjoying this yet? Because I definitely am not. Don't comment telling me I look like Quasimodo, because I freaking know I do. I think I did it! There's one piece done, you guys! Look at that! Look at my first piece! They said to use an X-Acto knife, but I have a box cutter. This is completely safe. Oh god, it's a tiny bit harder. Oh wait, this is kind of fun! What is that? A knife! No! Okay, this is not going very well. I got this like little, I don't know, like a children's mat that you like color on, but I should be able to actually press down now and not have to worry about cutting the table. Oh God, look at the edges. Oh dude, this is the worst cut job of my life. I couldn't have done this any worse. Oh, that one looks nicer, dude. But apparently there's like an edge that is beveled. This like thick part, like I gotta take it and I gotta like cut it in. I feel like this foam should have been thicker. I'm gonna cut myself on accident. That's not gonna go well. <laughs> At this point, I was extremely sleep deprived, but I covered it in barge, I heated it up. Oh wait, barge is flammable, I think. And then I molded it inside of a bowl. Oh my God, it's working. Look, it looks like mucus. It's kind of nasty. <laughs> it's leaking. <laughs> okay, I was definitely supposed to wear gloves and have decent ventilation in my room, which I did not. So the fumes started to get to my head. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this, but I finally did. Like, look at this. I made my first Bowser shell pointy thing. This took so long and it kind of looks a little bit scuffed. I'm gonna be real with you, like look at this thing. Keep in mind, we're gonna definitely be going over this with paint. For my first one, I honestly think it's not that bad. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna cut out a bunch of the parts for making a bunch of these because I have to make 10 of these points. Yeah, that's gonna be real fun to go through. This shell apparently takes like eight hours to make and we know that I am not about to sit here for eight hours and what I plan on doing is just recording like a bit here and there and then just 
just showing you guys like the process of what I'm doing. I mean, I learned how to use a heat gun and dear God, I was scared. It's like a blow dryer. I'm gonna take these two cutouts and basically do nine more of each of them so I can make all 10 of these spikes tonight. The art of cutting foam was a delicate procedure that required pure concentration. I just made all of these. So I'm gonna turn these into, oh, I'm gonna turn these into the little spikes for the Bowser shell. I'm probably gonna go to bed after this because my brain is exhausted. I'm not even gonna lie with you. Y'all do not understand how painful and excruciating this process was, but it was highly rewarding. Okay, I just spent like five minutes in the bathroom trying to get this barge off of my hands. But I made like all 10 of the Bowsette little shell spikes. Yeah, that took me like two hours. I literally should have gone to the freaking store and gotten like ice cream cone holders. Like it looks like I'm about to get like two fat scoops of moose tracks and put this in here. I made it. So, you know, at least I can say I did that. <sighs> I think I'm gonna do a lot of this off camera and figure it out as we go along because I'm dead tired. It's 10.30 p.m. I know, I'm a grandma and I look ouch and I look sweaty and I'm tired. For your viewing, I sped up the process of me filling in every single edge, corner, ledge, crevice, crack with barge so that you guys don't have to understand how excruciating this process was. But watching the Bowsette shell come together was so rewarding. You guys, hard work really does pay off. Even though it seems like I'm having a bad time, which I was, it's nice, okay? It was a good experience, you know? You can't have nice things in life without pain, without hard work, dedication. So make that prop, come on. Tell yourself you got this, cause you do. Hi, it is day two of making the Bowsette shell. This is what I have made right now. Honestly, this thing is kinda sexy, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, just like someone else I know. I think I did it pretty good. I know there are some parts that I definitely messed up on. You know, it's a learning experience. Like, we can't go through a process like this without actually messing up. So I gotta get like the outer ring of the actual shell. This is a Plasti Dip. I will be putting a layer of this stuff on the actual shell. On the actual shell before I actually start to paint it. And I've never used an airbrush before, so that's gonna be an experience as well. Mm. Yeah, this is a shell compared to me. Ah, it's so exciting. I'm sorry, but she's in another castle. This thing is so big. I'm, so, I'm like honestly excited to wear this to a con. The foam makes it so lightweight. Like I love it. Welcome back. It is day three of working on the Bowsette shell. So we're gonna be working on the outer rim. I gotta trace all of these onto foam and then cut them out and then figure out how to get them on the actual shell itself. But I wanna get this done so this weekend I can work on painting it because oh. this is taking me so freaking long. It's not even funny. That's okay, who cares? I bet you didn't realize it was me here now, did you, huh? I finished the shell. I want to thank my kitchen for providing me food, but thank you guys all for staying here. This was my first ever cosplay prop, and I owe it all to Kyo. Aww. Kyo helped me so much, guys. Actually, my cat made this. I look like a little boy right now, but just ignore that, okay? Let me just explain to you guys how I made this, because I didn't film that part. There's a bottom part to the shell, and this is like obviously what goes on my back, so it would look like this. Dude, this thing is massive. Like, <gasps> it is clearly way too big for me, but that's okay because like, I think it's funny to have it comedically large. I also worked on the tail and I don't exactly know if I did it right. The tail looks kind of big as well. Go like down there. But we gotta paint both of these, but I think I'm gonna spray a layer of Plasti Dip stuff. Say hi, Kyo. I will suffocate you with a pillow tonight. He does not like being held. All right, so I'm gonna spray a layer of Plasti Dip and then we're gonna whip out the airbrush and see how this goes. Cause I've never, ever, ever used an airbrush, nor do I know how to use an airbrush. So we'll figure it out together. I, I put way too much effort in this. Let's do it. <coughs> oh, dude, this stuff stinks. Okay, I'm in it all. <laughs> so the reason I did not record a lot of me actually gluing the pieces together was because this barge cement stuff is like low key toxic. So I had to have a fan running. So I didn't record my voice for a lot of it and I'm probably gonna have to turn the fan on again cause it is stanking. But I think in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the airbrush stuff and then I will be back when that's all set up. I have green in here currently. I have no idea if I put everything in here correctly, but I got the actual like airbrush thing and it's plugged in and there's green inside this little container. Now, if I'm correct, is it working? <gasps> it's working! It's actually working. Hold on, look at that, you guys. It works. Oh, oh my god, it's gonna 
Dude, the thing almost fell off because it started vibrating and it almost vibrated off the table. Oh, the tail is actually yellow. It is not green. That would actually make sense. I don't know why I was even spray painting it yellow or green. I just wanted to test it. It was a test. Um, I could probably spray paint over it, maybe, maybe. I don't know, it's probably fine. This whole entire main part is green and it looks like it goes like a little orange and then it's yellow for the spikes. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna work backwards. We're gonna start green, go orange, then yellow, and so on. I'm gonna thin out the screen a little bit and then we'll start our procedure, maybe. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Oh, it's not on, that's funny. All right, here we go. It's working! This is gonna take me ages, oh my goodness. This is the most uneven freaking paint job I have ever seen. How am I gonna cover up all of these like marks? It doesn't do a very good job at that. I can't believe you've done this. This is not working. Maybe I have to do layers. All right, talk about the most uneven paint job in the history of paint jobs. Oh, it dries quick. This is gonna take me freaking ages and I don't even know how we're gonna cover up the little like marks on the shell. If that's a thing that I messed up on, did I put it on the wrong side? I don't freaking know. We'll see how this goes. I might just have to put literal acrylic paint over it. Yo guys, oh god, a little update. I just finished the green part. So if you look here, I added like some lighter green in the center to try and give like a cute little like, I don't know, more shaded look. Next I'm gonna go in with like the scarlet red color and I'm gonna try and do like the little rings around. And if it honestly gets way too hard, I might just paint it on. I'm not even kidding you, painting probably took about half the time this took to make. So here's one spike done, you guys. I'm gonna go through and do all of them and try not to mess it up because this is really freaking hard. This is taking freaking ages, so I have an idea. I'm gonna take a paintbrush and this color and I'm gonna try to paint it on there and then maybe go over the top of it in like, what is the word? Shade it. I'm gonna try and shade it with the airbrush. I've I'm gonna try to do that and see how it goes. We'll find out, I have no idea. It's not in the instructions. There really is no instructions actually. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, y'all, so the process of me painting this shell actually took so many freaking coats. I can't even emphasize how long I spent painting. Basically, I marked up the shell with Sharpie, and because I used a dark colored Sharpie, I struggled to cover it up with paint. The Plasti Dip was supposed to cover it up, but it didn't. So I ended up putting on like maybe 10 coats of paint, and you know, I had to wait in between each coat for it to dry. It took so long, that's all you need to know. But it turned out amazing. Trust the process. Shoot my tail. This is the finished house that look. I got the wig like pretty good. I really like the poofiness because like that's what her hair looks like, right? But this is the style of wig and everything. I made the horns, but the back of the shell looks super nice. I ordered a bunch of these and I put them on my Bowsette shell and then I also put it on the tail and that's how the tail is attached to my body. I know it's not great, but I mean it works. Dear God, this took ages. Oh dude, see like the tail is super crippled. I'm not very good at styling wigs, but if I can do it, you can do it. And if you ever want like tutorials or videos, feel free to ask me. I'm not great. I'm getting there, but we can learn together. Am I right? And this is by no means a tutorial, guys. I glued my barge shut. I cannot... I can't open it. I had to order a whole big tub of this. And the reason I had to order this is because I ran out. And it's not very good for airbrush, I found out. Like, it's way too thick. I tried to water it down. It's just not very good. I just painted it on with, like, a brush. And it honestly turned out pretty good. It took a couple coats. I ordered this gloss finish. Um, This is what I... Dude. Anyways, I ordered this gloss finish stuff. And I put it on, like, all of the props. Yeah, I forgot to record an outro. So... Leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out my Twitch. Okay, stay swag. Bye. To the moon and fly me back Real life will be over Okay.